Hi beauty, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel, Egai Natural Skincare Academy, where we teach you how to make safe and effective natural and organic skincare products. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a brightening and anti-aging hydrating syrup. So if this video interests you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we upload our next video. I'll see you shortly. So the first thing I'll do is to hydrate my um, thickener. So I'm using satin gum. Um, I'll be hydrating it in propane 1,3-dihol. Um, you can also use um, propylene glycol or glycerin. Right, so um, also in replacement for your thickener, if you don't want to use the satin gum, um, you can also get the hydroxyl ethyl cellulose. It's abbreviated as HEC. Okay, so that's the first phase. So I'll set this aside. Um, this phase is actually very important so that you don't get a clumpy um, serum. Okay, so I'll set that aside. Then the next thing is to weigh my base solvent. So the base solvent is like the largest ingredient in your, is the highest quantity of ingredients in your product. And this time around is um, using distilled water. You can decide to use hydrosols as your base um, solvent if you really want it to be a nourishing um, ingredient. So um, I, I, I will set that aside also. And then the next um, um, ingredient I'm, I'm using I'm weighing is an active ingredient that's niacinamide. So niacinamide is known for to give um, oil control, brightening, um, anti-aging. It also helps to treat your hyperpigmentation among other benefits. So I'll dissolve that in water because it's a water soluble um, active ingredient. So the next active ingredient I'll be using is um, N-acetyl glucosamine, which is abbreviated as NAG. Um, it also has a um, brightening effect, anti-aging effect, and hydrating effect. So remember when you're selecting your active ingredient, you need to select based on the benefits you want your product to achieve. Right? Since it's also water soluble, I also dissolved it in water and then set it aside. Then the next thing is then I'll bring back my base solvent and then I'm adding in here glycerin and um, I'll also be adding sodium metabisulfite. The benefit of that is to help prevent my product from getting brown, okay? Um, it's also like an antimicrobial um, ingredient, so that's the sodium metabisulfite, right? Okay, so up um, until this stage, um, there is no eating required at all in this procedure. Okay, then gently, you know, stir in and then, um, you know, I'll be adding my other water-based or water-soluble ingredients into this base solvent. Okay, um, so please don't forget to like, share, subscribe um, to this channel and turn on notification bell if you have not done so so that you can get notified so i just added the hydrolyzed with um, protein right um it's not a necessary ingredient but it helps to boost the you know benefits of your product then i will be adding in here like a ph adjuster i'm using lactic acid of about 80 percent dilution okay so when you attend our diploma course we teach you in detail um you know the more details how you can you know create your own recipe from the very start okay so you can check the description box for more details on you know how to get registered with us all right so um now the next thing is to add in all the ingredients but not without adding a preservative so to the base so I also had a preservative. I'm using the Liquid Gamma Plus um, preservative because it's a broad spectrum preservative, which means it can provide benefits um, from antimicrobial to, you know, um, um, take care of, you know, other microbes 
yeast mold and all of that so after that um i will i had it i'm adding my pre-dissolved niacinamide and pre-dissolved um nag right and i will also um had um water based um water-based fragrance okay it's not necessary but you know you can give your product um, you can make it you know smell nice keep that nice smell then finally remember i'm a big fan of adding a penetration enhancing ingredient so here i'm using dm high um, that's dimethyl isocarbide um, is actually a nice penetration enhancing ingredient and then like i said earlier I'm using a water-based um, um, fragrance. So all the ingredients I used in this um, product, in formulation of this product, I got them from Sofix underscore natural. So I'll leave a uh, um, IG ando so you can search on IG for her. They sell um, authentic um, raw material ingredients so you can source from them. So um, finally, um, we are getting to the near end of this um, product formulation. So remember the satin gum that we hydrated in the beginning. So the essence is to make sure that you know um, you don't have a clumpy, clumpy um, what's it called, serum. So I'll stir in gently. Added all my base, you know, mix everything together back into that's propane diol and satin um, gum mix and then i'll just leave it for a few seconds or few minutes before transferring into the dark amber bottle um, serum container okay so that's what my serum looks like and very shortly you know i'll be testing it on my skin to see so that you can see the immediate effects this gives okay so that's the consistency if you want it thicker you can increase you know the thickening um ingredients the quantity of the thickening ingredient okay so that's it i package it and label it based on the date um, of formulation so before applying i'll make sure my face is cleansed and that was what, what i first did by applying washing my skin and applying a toner and then that's you know me testing the our um, brightening anti-aging and hydrating serum i hope you will also formulate yours as you can see the ingredients are um, very affordable they are not expensive at all and with these you can make a whole lot of money selling your own serum so that's it don't forget to like share and subscribe i look forward to seeing you in another uh, video tutorial and turn on notification bell. Bye for now.